you know, I was so happy to be out. I was just like so excited and euphoric. When stuff started to come up, I realized, oh, the work continues and actually the work, this is how the work actually starts. You've been straight tripping, won't look inside of yourself and my heart is racing a million miles cause of why? This is your first full LP, Rainbow Boy, and I want to know a little bit about the inspiration behind it. A lot of it is definitely like me unearthing a new sense of like freedom and kind of rebellion. You know, I felt like I could finally sing about what I wanted in, in my music. And, you know, I'd been releasing songs before, but always with, with a lens of a bit of fear and holding back. So a lot of what, what came up were like the themes of like freedom and liberation and kind of taking control of like my my life and my heart, you know, which is easier said than done, but it's part of the therapy to be able to sing about it. Give me that fresh opinion, we'll keep it innovative. I like the way I get to know you. I feel like everyone's always talking about, you know, which track are you most excited for people to hear? I want to know which one you're most nervous for people to hear. There's, you know, there's a few that come to mind. I mean, I was at one point afraid to, to put out Gay Street Fighter. I felt like I had lost my confidence, my charge forward in a lot of ways. So I was like, how am I supposed to release this song that's like, you know, so bold? And then you reminded that that's part of it. You know, you have to, you have to do it regardless. And that's... That's what builds this builds the strength. For anyone who thought they couldn't be themselves and be the hero too, your time is now. Yeah. Now I'ma get a little nasty, get a little sassy, teach you as why it's pretty boys woo. There's some there's some songs on there that are a little more like a little more uh, nasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what people would think of that. Oh yeah, I gotta <laughs> listen. <laughs> we recently celebrated three years of since you came out. In those three years, how have you grown as an artist? I think in one of the best ways that you can, which is just finding out who you are. I then went through a, a new phase of like doubt and insecurity, and I had to wrestle with new kinds of demons. I managed to write these songs, but am I really living this way? Do I really feel confident in all these ways? I didn't realize that all the other stuff that was going to come up, which now that I've kind of worked through a lot of that stuff, I'm super happy because it's now informed the way that I would get to perform the song. Hope that you make me better. Ain't got no pressure. This is so cool. Love that we vibe together. Love that we saw of Santa. So many people think once you come out of the closet, you know, all of your problems kind of melt away. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's not necessarily so. One of the reasons why the album was even called Rainbow Boy, you know, I was so happy to be out. I was just like so excited and euphoric and experiencing colors even in a new way. And, and I think that when stuff started to come up and I realized that it wasn't, wasn't just, you know, uh, rainbows and flowers and sunshine. <laughs> You know, I had to keep digging um, and I realized, oh, the work continues and actually the work, this is how the work actually starts. Is there an impact you have in mind or hope that this has for any, you know, queer youth who are out there struggling? I, I can't tell you what it felt like when I heard Frank Ocean's story, when Todrick had released a song when I was like 18 called It Gets Better, you know, all these things. I remember being so surprised when, when, I, when I heard those songs or heard those stories because I never thought it was possible to, to, to be able to see myself in that way. So if, if this song can do that and also just make them feel funky and cool and groovy, nobody told us how cool we were. No, they told us actually the opposite. The opposite, <laughs> yeah. But we're the best, we're great. I want to know how that feels for you to have this platform that you have now. Sometimes it's terrifying to be honest, and sometimes it's confusing because I'm always terrified of like f***ing up, to be honest. <laughs> the more I remember and remind myself, and I'm around people that remind myself that, yeah, I'm just a human. I only know what I know, I'm only on my journey, and I have the best intentions to share what I'm learning in a good way with others, and I will continue to learn and grow along the way. When I settle into that, you know, I find peace in it and I feel really grateful, I feel lucky. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this episode of I Have a Question. Talking to people is like literally one of the best parts of my job and I'm so glad I get to share it with you. And also thanks for sticking around to hear me babble at the end of every video. If you wanna see more, be sure to like click over here and also like and subscribe down below. Do it.